it's definitely not what other Let's Players do. Like, end recording, wait five seconds, be like, yeah, I can do another one, start recording. You, it's clear this is not something I do often, because if I did, I would be so not up to do so many of these episodes. But I kind of want to know what happens next in this video game. Welcome. You are observing the outer wilds. Uh, in the, the, in the, in the last episode, we explored Timberhearth again, and the only real notable thing is we discovered that the Nomai discovered us, a primitive form of us, Beta Harthians. That was neat. In this episode, we're going to mash our face in, I mean, it's not written as mash my face into the Southern Observatory. It's, it's written as explore the Southern Observatory. Because I feel like it expects us to just go in. The, maybe that's the tree. Maybe that's the fat tree. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to make ourselves a bit dizzy while we look for Brittle Hollow. Which is somewhere, that's for sure. That's not it. Is it uh, behind here? It is! I found it. I've got good news. Um, we are on the way to one full day since I got my record, my world record run <laughs> of Wolfenstein 3D Episode 5, Can I Play Daddy Difficulty? And it has not been broken, and that would sound not, uh, not too, uh, uh impressive if if no runs had been, uh, actually, uh, attempted. But no, runs have been attempted by, by the only other runner of the game. <laughs> and they, whoa. Wow. Very early. Um. Early in the cycle, rather. But yeah, uh, my run is officially good enough to not be immediately exploded. All right, let's uh, let's uh, figure out how to. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just saw those. Hold on, hold on. Where do those lead? Where do those lead? Here. How do I get there? There. Get me up here. How do I get here? Land here. Y'all, I know how to enter the Southern Observatory. Oh, I figured it out. Oops. Oh, I figured it. Let me out. I figured it. Let me out. I figured it out. Ah. I need to turn it on first. <laughs> okay, um... Let me go, uh, find where I turned this on, apparently. Uh... Please... Ah. Um... Can't turn it on here, either. You know what? I can make that jump. I can make that jump, I can make it jump. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it! Oh... Alright. I don't know how I didn't notice them before. But we got gravity crystals. Huh. All right. This is precarious, but it will in fact, what is that supposed to be? Oh, locations where gravity crystals are supposed to be, but they're missing. Okay, I'll just jump. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I feel so good. We're finally getting an episode where productive walks are happening. We are going to a new location early in an episode for once in a really long while. Should I just uh for the jump or uh 
Oh yeah, this is very go for the jumpable. I feel like that might be something else I might have missed. Nah, it's fine. Are you? Southern Observatory, here I come. Oh, we got new music. We got the 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 the, 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 the sample cyclones. I remember why I was here. We're going inside Giant's Deep. Yay! All right. This is probably a way out. Oh. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um in that ship uh in, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Feldspar would be would barely have laughed at me, I bet. Oh, so this isn't Feldspar. I thought it was. <laughs> That's the good news. The bad news, I haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken, and I know I'm not good exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins to the equator to find, my way find a way down. Guess what? That's probably, uh... Ryback, my guess. Um. Okay. Ooh, I might have been here because surely I would have seen a projection of this. But that was probably ages ago. Giant Steep Projection Stone. This one is probably the construction site. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's the construction site. I thought seeing that was a lot more notable than I thought, but it's not. Um, alright, let's read this. Reread this, because we've already read it. Kanoi doesn't get Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. This is what we're trying to solve. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kazava con convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other counterparts. We're very curious as to what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here in Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. The place I'm in, the, you know, okay. Um, uh, Giant's Deep is Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, you'll be I'll be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Oh. oh there's probably a way to figure out anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Um Okay. Alright, we've got simulated tornadoes, which are probably just mini tornadoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, willy willies. Yeah. It's an Australian slang. Um, anyway, <laughs> Cassava's construction yard has. I think it's Australian. Anyway, um. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current. It usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update it is now clear there are two different types of cyclone. One that pushes down, one that pushes up. Of course! It's just I... Wait, how do I get out? Get me out. Get me out. Huh. I just sort of thought, oh, that's weird, that one pushed me down. Is it because? Clockwise. Anti-clockwise. I just sort of assumed all of them were the same. Anti-clockwise means down. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Yes. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the, cycl uh, the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. My gratitude, Spire. Kanoi is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But if it was really necessary 
Was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant's Deep. Uh, also, I very much wanted to make a model. You know what? That checks out. That feels so obvious. It feels so... Like, I just... Just... If I just looked at the cyclones, I would have been able... Like, like when this thing over here says, I can't tell by looking at it. But you can tell by looking at it if you pay attention. And I... If I only paid attention... Oh, there's stairs. Or a path. Oh, it's stairs. There's still more to explore. Maybe there's another scroll. Maybe there's a way out. Oh, no, we've already got a way out. What's this? Oh, we got more stuff. And we do have another scroll. Okay. Alright. We... Uh, Ash Twins? Ash Twins what? Ash Twins are over there. Yeah, and? Wait, oh is there? Oh. Wait, is... Oh. Oh, it's a... Oh, are these the balls? The ball. So there was always that part in the um. In the in the, the 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 like didn't make sense to me. It was it was why is there, a th a thing in the museum that shows balls going towards the. Where gravity goes, based on what's near it. Maybe that's what these are. Maybe. Brittle Hollow. Yeah, this is just part of the. Okay. Oh wait. No, it's uh, Timber Hearth, rather. Brittle Hollow. It's dark. I wish I could see it better. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit better. Um, Giant's Deep. Ooh. Cool. Dark Bramble. Ooh. Cool. Is that actually tracking Dark Bramble is in this direction? I don't know. Um, anyway... Oh, there's one for the eye of the universe? Oh, 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 oh. There it is. I found it. No, never mind. There's definitely more than one, is there? There's one there. There's one. Okay. Important to note it is very far away. We finally have a bit of scale as to how far away the eye of the universe is maybe maybe why is it in orbit around our sun <laughs> that's something we haven't quite cleared up hold on uh, let's read it's reading time reading time reading time what have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Adelrock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. I just thought of something. Have they at any point said Timber Hearth? Uh, the Nomai, because if they have, then it's like, did they predict what we were going to be called? Or is this got to do with they chose, or we chose for their word for Timber Hearth to be translated to Timber Hearth? Because I, I, I keep reading through these, and I, I don't remember seeing one that refers specifically to Timber Hearth. I might be wrong. Um, hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Based on our uh, knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system sun. Okay. So it is around, it is in orbit around the sun for some reason. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Okay. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Yeah, we've heard that one a few times. Kazava, how can you su suggest that? The eye signal called us, called out to summon us to the star system. Well, uh, I'm lagging. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> uh... I'm aware. I grew up here in the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Hmm. 
Hmm, the sun is uh, worryingly red, but my recording says we've got a lot of a lot of a uh, loop left. Like here I am saying like, oh, I don't want to use use a timer, but why is there wind? Is there a way out? Where's the? I don't. Oh, 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 why did I go that way? Oh wait, the wind is the cyclones. I'm so stupid. I thought there was a way out. I was like, huh? Is there a shortcut here? No. <laughs> All right, let's read the last thing. Okay. Maybe the cyclone. Yeah, I think the cyclone is actually influencing my direction. Okay, so. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? You know, uh, we know the what the eye looks looks like thanks to the quantum moon. But so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. I mean, thanks to the quantum moon. I assume you mean it's full of quantum moon rock. Um, we need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need for to escape gravity's pull. So this is them figuring out they should build the the build the orbital probe cannon. Giant seed would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it'd provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless, except for when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. Uh as we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search, this search method. Um. Okay. So. Alright. Mallow's idea is clever. Um. Let's use the quantum moon. But we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Rami and Pi about the technology they're developing? I think the plan is shoot it really strongly. Um, okay. So, should I go to the uh, Giant's Deep now? Oh. My ship is here. No, that's not my ship. This is a different ship that is also here. Oh well. That's fine. I'll go to my ship, which is... Why is it over there? Oh, it's the white hole. Oh, it's the white hole. Alright, hold on. I'll go to the white hole. It's fine. Uh-oh. I do not want to be low on fuel when I'm at the white hole. I mean, I've got oxygen, so theoretically it would be fine. Addy oop. Addy oop. Give me a give me a hole. Give me a hole to fall in. I would like to fall in one of your many holes, please. One of your finest holes, please. What's this? Is that a snowflake? Yeah, nice. Your finest hole. Provide me. Woo! There is a lot of hole here. Oh, there goes you. Alright, where's my ship? 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 Ship, ship, ship is not actually that far. And back off. We are going too fast. We are going too fast. We are going too fast. We're going too fast. We're going too fast. Alright. Uh, there is a chance. There are bits of my ship that have exploded. No? No, we're just fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We're just fine. Uh, we are definitely running out of cycle. But... We could take a look. Let's go to Giants Deep. Let's num. You know what? Let's not even autopilot. Let's not even slow down. Let's just pray I don't run into land. 
That sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like a lot of fun, too. Please don't get in the way. Please don't get in the way. Please don't get in the way. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, jeez. Ah. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. We good. All right. Clockwise, 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 anti-clockwise. There's the one. Maybe. Uh, wait. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Part one is that. Maybe part two is going inside a jellyfish. There's a jellyfish. Part one is the current, part two is the jellyfish. And I learned this jellyfish shenanigan. Okay. Alright, jellyfish. I'm worried that you will zap me too, though. Are you gonna zap me? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh. I think. Yep, electrical systems are down. Uh, wait. Velocity match. So, uh... Whoa! Cool. Where is my electricities? Where are my electricities? Thought my electricities would be, uh... Oh, there it is. This is my electricities. Oh, this is my electricities. Okay. And... Fixed. Okay, my thought is maybe one of these jellyfish are dead. One of these jellyfish are not zappy, and that is what is gonna get me down. So just look for a non zappy, dead, floaty jellyfish somewhere. And don't get too close, preferably. You are zappy. How would I unzappy a jellyfish? Kill it? I mean, sure, but I don't think I've got any weapons, do I? Boy, 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 boy. Dare I say, what if I have a better chance without my ship? I mean, I gotta try it once. Oh. All right. I needed to check once. Is that one zapping? No, that one's zapping. All right. We're fine. Alright. I need a, a dead jellyfish. How do I get... a dead jellyfish? Ooh. That's like, uh... Nice. It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a Coral or something. One of the corals. It's a Corsola. <laughs> Corsola is a coral, I think. Um. I was confused when I saw the the cyclone shenanigans because the cyclone shenanigans is uh, not too helpful with regards to. Is this a giant cyclone? Oh, can you get in through the bottom? Oh. You have an electricities. What if I ram into you? Will ramming into you destroy you? Will it kill you? If it kills you, will I be able to ram? Alright. Uh, damaged but not broken. Well, damaged enough. 
It's fine. Yeah, they were broken. Mm. And this time, I'm not falling for the stupid wrong cyclone shenanigans. I'm looking at these jellyfish and I don't see any difference between them. Hypothesis. I need the dead one from above ground, but that's uh, not really going to help, is it? Not unless I can figure out how to melt it. Hmm. These jellyfish all look the same to me, and I mean, yeah, you can get through. You can get through fine. These jellyfish can get through fine. Good luck checking the jellyfish. I'm surprised my scout is doing fine. Yeah, that's the end of the cycle. Fair enough. Wow, my scout should not be surviving. Hmm, okay. Secondary hypothesis? Maybe, just maybe, there is a non-dead jellyfish at the start of the, or a dead jellyfish at the start of the cycle that drifts very quickly, and so I need to be here at the start of the cycle. Or something. I think the plan needs to be go to the dead jellyfish. Is this the dead jellyfish island? Which one's the dead jellyfish island? I think I remember. Wait, I don't need to remember. I've got a scout ship. Oh, that's not useful at all. Oh, oh, this is the tower. <laughs> We're not in the right place at all. You know what we are? Leaving so that we can observe the supernova together. Ah, oh, it looks so pretty. What of you? You and I sit down as we observe the. Oh, my mouse moves. Oh, I, I was going to do a thing. Hold on, I'm still doing the thing. Let us observe the sun explode together. Oh, jeez. My controller fell, almost fell off my thing because it was rumbling. Hmm. To be fair? Uh. I guess it does make sense that your controller would rumble. <laughs> I mean, I'm experiencing it every time. I just I wasn't paying attention this time. Oh, my goodness. We finally had an eventful episode. And guess what? I can definitively mark that off my list. Yay! Go. That'll be it for this episode. Well, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, let me remind you that whatever time it is right now that you are watching this, you are listening to a spider bat who doesn't even know if anyone is watching even the first episode because no episodes are going out until this whole series is being recorded. Um, likewise, I am so sorry if anything I do is incredibly cringy. Like, what if I completely missed out on a setting or a thing that I learned at the very start and I just haven't been using it this whole time because I hate watching those playthroughs personally. Um, but I also think this is a very interesting way to play through a game. I haven't been looking anything up. The only things I've found are things that I've been accidentally spoiled on, like the AGDQ thing and the Nintendo Direct and, um, like, 
cursory glances before I even knew it was a game I was going to pick up. Um, all right. So next episode, I guess we're going to try and figure out how to get down Giant's Deep again. Because we've got a plan. The plan is... Steal a corpse! Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. Um, I'll see you in the next episode, where we are going down to the bottom of Giant's Deep. Maybe. Uh, alright. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!